Did you ever wonder how we got from old style Tunnel of Love rides to modern masterpieces like Pirates of the Caribbean and The Haunted Mansion? I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and on this episode, we're going to take a look at the history of dark rides and how they evolved into modern attractions like Toy Story Midway Mania and Frozen Ever After. The term dark ride refers to a type of attraction in an amusement park or a theme park. In, in essence, you travel in a guided vehicle through various scenes that can contain animated characters, sound, music, and special effects, and it usually tells a linear story or follows a story arc. The history of dark rides, of course, can vary, and in some cases, dark rides started with the old mills or the tunnels of love rides from the 19th century. Another more traditional viewpoint is that the dark ride was invented in 1928 in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Leon Cassidy and Marvin Remfer took over the Tumbling Dam Park. They added a few rides, but really wanted to add an old mill ride, but it was very expensive and prohibitive because of the high maintenance cost. So they started playing around with a Dodgem car and eventually created a ride inside of a building in which a car followed a single electrical track. This was the beginning of the Pretzel Amusement Ride Company and the Pretzel Ride. And here's an imaginary bonus fact. It was called the Pretzel after a rider remarked that he felt like he'd been twisted into a pretzel shape after riding. One of the next innovations was adding a hinged bar system that would trigger a special effect when the car passed over it. And these would be called stunts and could be as simple as a lighting effect or a skeleton popping up. Over the next 20 years or so, the dark rides would grow in popularity, and many of them would be simply called Laugh in the Dark or Haunted House. And of course, with the opening of Disneyland in 1955, the dark rides would change dramatically. Peter Pan's Flight, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and Snow White's Adventure all created a more theatrical dark ride following a more linear story. And from there, we would see iconic attractions like It's a Small World, Pirates of the Caribbean, and The Haunted Mansion. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Parkopedia as we looked at a brief history of the term dark ride. Leave me a comment below and tell me what's your favorite dark ride. Also, please subscribe to the channel Give me a thumbs up and make sure you share this video with all your friends so that everyone can have a better theme park experience.